We are now recording. Welcome. This is our Saturday evening live mindset training that we do every Saturday night. Uh, if you guys can hear me clearly, go ahead and type Y in the chat box. If for whatever reason we all lose sound because of my, my mic drops, then I'm probably just going to call in onto the conference call line. Uh, but I think we should be should be good to go. I'm going to be doing some screen share tonight, and tonight's topic is uh, basically marketing. And this is very, very important. See, when I first joined network marketing, it was, uh, it was uh, November, end of November, 1998. I was a senior in college at that time. And we didn't have an internet. Well, it, it, there was the internet, but you know, people hadn't figured out how to really use the internet to build their business on a mass scale like today. There was no Facebook, there was no MySpace. I think back then I remember there being Black Voices or Black Planet and different social media sites like that uh, in your local neighborhoods and local towns on the internet, but nothing as massive as Twitter, Pinterest, blogging, Facebook, MySpace. You know, we didn't have any of that. And we built our business locally. The way you expanded to a different region is if you had a relative or you actually got on a plane or drove to another city and you actually spent time there to build it. Uh, so it was a different era for network marketing. And when I when I had left network marketing and went back to corporate America and decided to come back, it was a completely different ball game. And I didn't want to do things the old way. And it's not that the old way is, is bad. The old way is fine. But I wanted to be able to take advantage of the current technology. You know, the, over time, network marketing has always adjusted to the current time. You, you go further back into the Amway days before there were even computers. You know, you, you place your order for products with whoever was a local Amway distributor in your neighborhood. You couldn't place an order directly through the company. You know, and then the internet came along and they had websites. Now all you needed was to have the ID number of your, your Amway or uh, Mary Kay rep and you can order the product directly from the website and those individuals got credit. I remember even in 1998, 99, you know how we were able to look at our genealogy back then? All right, uh, Rhonda says she lost sound, but what about anybody else? Can the rest of you guys still hear me? Or that's just Rhonda, because I still see my mic going. All right, so for, uh, for, for me back in 98, 99, then what happened, we would pull our genealogy report through fax. Yeah, we had to actually, and we had to pay for it at that. <laughs> Can you imagine that? If you want to know what's going on in your downline, and, and we had a, a, a point where we, we would have a meeting every Sunday night at our local leader's home, and, and we would pull the, the report to save money since we were all in his downline. He would pull the report once a week. It was like almost a phone book. He had such a huge team. And then we would just go through the report through our downlines and see what you know what's going on in our businesses. Uh, so today, technology is is so far advanced. It's it's good and it's bad, and, and I'm not going to talk about that tonight. But when I came back, I decided you know I want to use the the new stuff. Uh, how do I do this marketing thing? And there's not a class that's going to teach you on how to do this. It's basically trial and error. So the first thing that I did was I decided to sign up with affiliate companies that were, pro that were that were saying, we've got tools to help you build your business. And I, I signed up with a company was called ML, uh, My Lead System Pro. And, and I signed up with that company. And the, the bad thing about that company is that they had an affiliate side to it, where if you, if you told other people on your team about it, then you can earn affiliate income. And so more people were focused on earning affiliate income than actually using the tool itself to build the business. I mean, Empower Network is a prime example. The, the whole point of that company was to teach you how to use blogging to build your primary business. What ended up happening was uh, Empower Network became the primary business for a lot of people because they can make money by selling it to their downlines. And so that's the, that's the bad side of that. But I actually wanted to learn how to use the tools. So that system taught me about capture pages, and it taught me about Aweber and autoresponders and video marketing. 
and all of that stuff I was I was foreign to. You know, as far as me and computer, I just knew how to turn it on and get to my email. And 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 finally, I got on a Facebook account. You know, very later. Uh, so I wasn't the tech guy, but I started. You know, they said you need to do videos, and you need to blog. I failed at the blog. Till this day, I still have not mastered blogging. They 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 wanted us to use um, program called uh, what is that called WordPress and I tried WordPress and they said it's supposed to be user friendly and I guess I'm just a dummy I, I just couldn't figure it out and and sometimes you know this is one of my flaws when I get frustrated and I kind of kick it to the curb <laughs> that's why I love simplicity of things so I didn't really mess with the the, the WordPress and I know Empower Network was all about the WordPress before they came up with their own platform but it, then they said videos. And one guy was saying, yeah, you need to make a video a day. I go, I, I think I could do that. But, you know, I don't like being in front of the camera. Uh, you know, <laughs> that might be funny to say, but actually, yeah, I have almost a thousand videos uploaded on YouTube. But most of those videos do not have me in front of the camera. So if, if you're saying, you know, I, I don't want to get in front of the camera to make a video, you don't have to. That's the beautiful thing about this. There's multiple ways you can make videos, which we're going to go over tonight. And but one thing that I learned was branding. You must brand yourself. See, in network marketing, people sign up with people, not companies. People sign up with people, not companies. I use a, an, an internet marketer by the name of Cedric Harris as an example. Cedric Harris is one of the top internet marketers in the world, seven figure earner. But he's also what I like to call a company hopper. He believes in multiple streams of income, which is fine. But most people, meaning 99% of the people, can't do what he can do. So while it works for him, it doesn't work for the majority of the people that's following him, but he's so charismatic and he's made so much money that people will follow him no matter what he does. Well, he had a big run in, in a company called Vitalis and he wanted to, you know, he was making almost six figures a month and he wanted to add something else onto it. And Vitalis, you know, kind of turned their nose up to that for cross recruiting and he, he, he stopped doing that, went back to affiliates. But then he made a, a, a huge announcement. And this is what really got me that he joined some like it was like a water company out in, in Arizona, a water network marketing company. And he hyped it up so big with videos. It was like the second coming of Christ. And he had all his followers joined with him. That lasted about four or five months. Then he left it. Then he says, you know, I'm humbling myself and I'm going to join the number one money earner in the world. And that was Holton Bug from Organo Gold. And he made all these video series about I'm putting together a system. I got this, I got that. You want to work with me? Now, it's not like Organo Gold was a brand new company, but he hyped it up like it was, it, it just launched yesterday. And he had huge success initially. All his followers jumped on board. And here's the thing about it all of these people already knew about it, about Organo Gold. But because Cedric joined, then they followed. And that lasted about, I don't know, six months. And then you stop, you know, you don't hear him talking about it anymore. But then he made a new major announcement two months ago. He joined a company called Jeunesse. And he made it sound like it was, you know, the same thing he did with our kind of gold. But because he branded himself and he was good at making videos, he was able to put in over 1,500 people within 60 days, over a million dollars in volume within 60 days. He get, So it doesn't matter the company. He can sell tires on the side of a freeway and still have a huge downline. It's about branding yourself as a leader. What separates you from everybody else? And in the internet age, when people hear about a company, the first thing they do when they get off the phone with you is they're gonna do their own research. They're going to look you up on Google and YouTube. So when we talk about branding ourselves, do you have control over your own name? It's very important. 
do you have control over your own name? Now, let me do screen sharing here. Oh, this is making me nervous doing this. Let's pull this up here. That's the one thing that I wanted to be able to do was uh, brand myself. But give me one second here. Let me follow the steps here. Let's load this up. So you guys can see my screen. Have you ever, have you guys ever uh, Googled yourself? Googled your name just to see what pops up? You know, when, you, when you're talking about millions and millions of people, there, there might be dozens of people that have, or hundreds of people that have the exact same name as you. So you want to be able to stand out from the rest of the crowd. Run. Oops, oh, what did I do? There we go. All right, if you guys can see my screen, type Y in the chat box. You guys can see my screen. Okay, do me a favor now, since I can't really see you guys, I'll be checking in. But if for whatever reason you lose screen or I lose connection, somebody shoot me a text, let me know so I can correct it. All right, let's 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 go to Google. So let's say, this is the first thing I did when I saw this term. I typed in my own name. Just to see what pops up. Now there's dozens and dozens of Brandon Ivies out there. When I first did this, you know, I'm black, but there's a white Brandon Ivy. I had a mild decline because this Brandon Ivy you see in this image here is a meteorologist, which means he's on the news every single night, and he dominated Google. What the, of the name Brandon Ivy. Anytime you look that up, all you see is him all over the place. It took me a good year and a half, almost two years, to where I was able to push him off the front page of Google, and it was all about me. But then what happened? Why is it that you see him back up here again? Well, a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, you guys remember the huge tornado storms that was hitting the Midwest? It was huge. Uh, a couple of reporters died. Well, this guy is a storm chaser. And he and his and his crew was out there. I don't know if it was Idaho or Kansas or what. But he was out there. And a tornado spun. And it changed direction and came straight towards their news van. He was able to record the tornado live <laughs> while he was inside it and lived to tell about it. The first person in history. And as a result, he got millions and millions of hits all over the world and knocked me off the front page. So it's going to take me time. See, that's him, but here's me right here. And then you've got, uh, yeah, Brandon Ivy. Eh, I like Brandon Ivy. But you want to actually, I got some more work to do to get my name back. If I click on images, I used to dominate the images. Yeah, there's me there. There's me there. But it used to be uh, all me until, until that took place. So what you guys want to do is Google your name first and see who controls your name. Do you control your name? Now let's switch to YouTube. Since we're talking about videos, type in my name now. And I'm going to type in some of you guys' names and we'll see what pops up. When I type in my name on YouTube, I've got 848 videos uploaded to YouTube over the last four or five years. And so, most of the, uh, on, as far as videos is concerned, I was able to get my name back. Storm Chaser guy is here. So he's one, two, three, four, five down. But the rest is all me. Except, uh, I don't know who this is. Brandon Ivy de Estado. 
So I was able to, out of all the Brandon Ivies in the world, I dominate my own name on YouTube. That's what you want to do. Let's see if I, if I go to Google and do the uh, second page. Well, I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm still on the foot. I'm still left videos. Go to web. Gone chasers. So there's a politician named Brandon Ivy as well somewhere out there. Here's my LinkedIn profile is here. There's a movie. Oh yeah, Brandon Ivy is known for work on Tornado Alley. Gone chasers. I've even had gotten some emails and messages from people who wanted to get my story about surviving uh, inside of a tornado. I'm like, that's not me. <laughs> not me. But you want to be able to control your own name. Let's have a little bit of fun here. Let's see. Who would like me to look their name up? Type type me in the chat box. I'm going to pull you up. See, say Maron Howard. Let's see, Maron. All right, there we go. There we go. Moran is there. So Moran, either not too many people have your name or you've done a good job of controlling your name. What if I were to Google you? There you go. Moran owns his name in the internet world. And you have to understand, this is worldwide. Worldwide. Let's see. Uh, let's do uh, Cassandra McAllister. I know that's not Cassandra. So this is just basic Google. And Cassandra LinkedIn. I don't know if that's you, Cassandra. Well, let's try YouTube. All right, we've got, yeah, here, there you go. Oh, wait a minute. That's a video I made up for Cassandra. <laughs> That's my Cassandra Hit Star affiliate. Let's see. Juan Salad. Nope, Cassandra, you've got some work to do. So the only YouTube about Cassandra is a video that I made for Cassandra. Let's try Richie Hill. Well, I thought I saw Dino first. Let's do Dino Crawley. He knows. We've got him on Facebook. We've got his pictures. Dino owns his name. Anybody were to Google him? So here's the thing, like heavy hitters like to do this all the time. They love to Google somebody just to see if there's if you know if they are all hype or if there is there actual documentation about this person. Are they really a leader? That's why it's important for you to to own your own name. Let's try on YouTube. All right, we've got like, three days ago, his active channel. Dino Crawley and Justin Prim versus, all right, that's not Dino. There's another Dino out there. A video that I'm, why, why? Huh. I don't know why a video that I put up here is tied to Dino. I know I don't use Dino's name. Sure, watch Japan team. Okay, yeah, I know that. So all the Dino videos so far are videos that I've made. So Dino has a way to go to dominate for YouTube. Let's try Raymond Ward Sr. All right, Raymond, let's see. I know you're on Facebook. I mean, on LinkedIn, so I don't know if these are you, but you've got some work to do here. Also, that was you, Dino, with Justin, Justin Prim. Okay. The House of Sod and Commerce <laughs> for Raymond Work. Let's try on YouTube. All right, let's see. Nothing for Raymond. 
So Raymond, you've got some work to do. Brand your name. Sorry, just a few more. I see uh, Juan Davis. A lot of Juan Davises. There we go. That's not Juan. Juan Davis White Pages. Profile LinkedIn. Vimeo. There's an actor named Juan Davis. Uh, sorry. By YouTube. Juan Davis, one handed jam. Was that you, Juan, a year ago? <laughs> Juan Davis Alley. So there's a Juan Davis basketball player. There's a grandmaster named Juan Davis. So Juan, you've got some work to do to, to own your name. And then last but not least, this one. Last but not least is Rhonda Griffin. Now that's not Rhonda. But there's a whole lot of them out there. 350 people named Rhonda Griffin in the US, white pages. So you're competing with 351 people in this country that have the same exact name as you. That's YouTube. Yeah. There is Rhonda. All right, we got Rhonda's uh, YouTube channel. There's Rhonda again. We did a video about a week ago. That's what I'm talking about. Well, to help online shoppers save the most money possible when making purchases on the internet. That's what I'm talking about, Rhonda. You made a video? You just uploaded this. <laughs> That's from a year ago. <laughs> Good, good deal. Well, it took you a year to upload your video. All right, let's go back. So, Rhonda, you got to do more videos. You made that video a year ago. And you've got a lot of ways that you want to dominate this whole front, front page. It wants to be all you. Now, here's where it comes to business. Let's see what happens if somebody were to go to Google Google, they heard about shopping Sherlock, so they decide to uh, do some research. Shopping Sherlock. What pops up when you Google shopping Sherlock? All right, that's the company homepage. You've got the Facebook homepage of Shopping Sherlock. Roger Rios. See, so of course, people are looking to see if there's any scam about shopping Sherlock. Shopping Sherlock Marketing System, that's the company. Michael Weir, Troy Dooley. Oh, and then there's me. Now, this is why branding yourself is so important. Because if people are looking for something and they don't know who's in the company yet and they do research, you want to be available to be seen on the front page. Let's go to the second page. The second page here, let's see what do we got. And what's interesting about these, when you see Shop and Sherlock scams, it's actually people talking about the Shop and Sherlock is not a scam. It's it's called reverse marketing. I don't, I don't, that used to be good maybe three years ago. I don't, I don't uh, condone it today. Uh, let's see. Shop and Sherlock review. Company owns that one. International Supreme Team, Mobile Labs, uh, Vanderbilt, the App Store, Ben Accrue. All right, you see that. So I, I accomplished one of my goals to make sure I'm on the front page of Google anytime somebody's looking at Shopping Sherlock. Here is YouTube. What happens if we type in Shopping Sherlock?
All right, front page here, the ultimate recruitment method reveal. Okay, this is somebody, I don't know who this is, secrets uh, working with James picks.com. I don't know who that is. You've got Simon Brooks, and you've got me, and you've got a Carl Ashton, and me, 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 Troy Dooley, me, 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 somebody in Russia, me, Bong in UK, Frazier, me, him. Let's see. No, it's not with the company anymore. He's still on the front page there. Interesting. The uh, Russian and Frazier. So you want to get to a point where if somebody's going to YouTube shopping Sherlock, they find you. This is my secret. This is how I build my business. I don't build my business by going door to door, trying to knock trying to find people and that I don't know and talking to them, I make myself available for them to find me. That way, you're dealing with people who want to know more about what you do. When on my last company, we put in 6,000 people in a year and a half. I personally enrolled over 150 by picking up the phone and answering it, not by picking up the phone and calling people. You see the difference? But it's all in the brand. It didn't happen for me overnight. And right now, with Sherlock being at its infancy, is a perfect opportunity for you guys to flood the internet with, with your information about Shopping Sherlock. We've got Roger Rios, we've got Willie Davis, Carlos Pinto, Andrew. All right, Andrew out of Florida. He's a new guy. Andrew got is up here. He got on the second page. Me, me. That is Jennifer, Frazier, Allen, Allen, Carlo, Allen, so. So you want you want to dominate this. Now I had somebody say, well, Brandon, you're so good at this. You know, you're always going to be on the front page. You're, that means everybody's going to sign up with you. No, that's not the case. Because you have to understand, you guys have been to my trainings where I've done the feel, felt, found method and also the personality traits. You know, everybody has different personalities. Everybody has different stories. Everybody has a different background. And we will always gravitate to the person that we can close, or we can relate to the most, that we feel more comfortable with. But not everybody out there will feel comfortable with me. Not everybody out there's story will be the same as mine. That's why you need to get your story out there. So I hope you've got pen and pad to write this down. There's a couple of type of videos that you want to make. There's three type of videos. The first video is basically an introduction video about you. Who are you don't talk about the business don't talk about the products don't talk about network marketing you're just introducing the world to you you guys understand that that's the first video it could be 45 seconds to 30 minutes long it, it doesn't matter as long as you want it you say whatever you want but you've got to introduce people to you because remember what i said People sign up with people, not with companies. I can't tell you how many times that I hear when somebody calls me, they say, wow, Brandon, I've seen all your videos. I feel like I know you. I love the video of you sitting in the park. I love the video you did where you talked about your failures. I love the video of you, you know, with the kids. You know, It's not always just 100% business, business, business. You are a people person. You, you, know, you want to be approachable. So tell people about you. Stories sell all day long. People will buy your story. So make a video about your story. You can be in front of the camera or you can just have an audio going. It doesn't matter. Preferably, you want to be in front of the camera when you're telling your story. So people can relate to you and not just your voice. That's, well, that's right, Farmer John. Three by three minutes. Better than a 10 minute. 
they, it, you're dealing with one people's attention span. So the first videos you do, you don't want it to be a, a, a you know a movie. You want to tease them, to draw them in, quick 45 second, one minute video, and then if they like what they see, they're gonna click on you know your channel to see more videos. What else does this person have to say? What else is going on? Here's another way that I get a lot of people. Let me go to my channel. And my playlist. All right, let's see. What have I made here? Okay. Here's a book called How Rich People Think by Steve Siebel. Or Steve, uh, what's his name again? Steve Siebel, something like that. I actually read the first 10 chapters and recorded myself reading it with images of, you know, uh, let's see, what type of images? So just nice images in the background. So it's just something that you just listen to. So there's people out there that are into motivational uh, stuff and personal development and they want to find how to get rich. So they, they YouTube that stuff. And guess what happens? My video pops up. I've got 3,000 views on, that's just this video, lesson one. But I've got a whole channel on there. Let's see, lesson two. As it goes on, the, the, the rest have less views. People watch the first chapter all the time. Lesson five. I actually need to finish that. I think there's like 21 lessons all together. Then I've got another section here that I've done. Let's see. The Brandon Ivy Show. What this that I did was I just did tips on network marketing. Not tips really about my business. Just tips on how to be successful in network marketing, period. I've got on this list 33, but I have over 40 or 50 of them total. I need to update my, my playlist here. So people can learn information and they can use it in any company that they're doing. Why would I do that? Why would I give somebody for free information on how to be successful, even if they're not in my company? Because developing a rapport relationship. If something were to ever go wrong with their company, they'll remember me. Oh, yeah, I remember that guy, Brandon. He knows what he's talking about. What company is he doing again? Let me, let me look him up again. It's all about branding yourself. You guys remember the book I always talk about, um, The Science of Getting Rich. Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles. See, this book is also in audio format. Why am I not on the front page here? I was last time I checked. It's not the game of oh, I know. I don't know why. I typed that in differently. The science of getting rich. Let me just put the science of getting rich and see what happens here. Okay, Wallace D. Waddles. The secret. I have been knocked off the front page. Science of getting rich, Brandon. There I am. So I've got a whole series. In fact, I read the entire book. I've got thousands of views on these. I read the entire book and I did uh, uh, narrated it. So that's another way for people to get to know me and to know who I am and. So people will come to your channel and they want to see, okay, is this person just all about, you know, trying to make money off of me? Who, who, who else are they? What else do they have up there? What do they have going on? What other videos have they uploaded? You know, so, so you want to make yourself personable with your videos. Now, I want to show you if I can just allow me to do this. When I first started out, I was horrible. It was bad. <laughs> very, very bad. The content was good, but I had no idea what I was doing. And, and that's the best. I mean, you, you, 
That's how you learn. The, the, the first ones are going to be bad. It's not all going to be, to be good. It's got to be a better way. Right. Keep going back. So I want to show you guys a couple of examples. And make sure you're still with me. If you're still with me, type Y in the chat box. You can still hear me clearly. Good, good. We're still rocking and rolling here. Far back in 2013. All right, we're getting there. 2012. I think I started in 2011, 2010, or 2011. Actually, I, I followed Cedric Harris on it. He said, you got to make a video a day. Make a video a day? Not a, it could be a 30-second video. Here we go. All right. Wow. Very first video I ever uploaded was on November 4, 2009. This is right. That was the year I came back to network marketing. Actually, yeah, earlier that year, I came back to network marketing. Uh, after I got laid off from Club America, 2009. And the first video wasn't that bad. It's just sitting in the backyard uh, with the camera. But I didn't understand lighting and all that stuff yet, so I'm real dark shade. And in this video, all I did was just talk about an intro uh, to the company, which is the second video you're going to do. The second video is, why did you join the company you're with? why yeah i could see the comp corporate video all day long but why did you join what is it going to do for you not people don't want to hear oh you got to join this company because this is what's going to do for you and blah 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 blah, blah. they don't want to hear that they don't want to be pitched you say i joined this company because this is what it's going to do for me here's my goals here's why here's why i like the product here's why i like the compensation you know you just start doing it's talking like that about yourself with the company. Now, the third video that you're going to do is going to be you doing a compensation, a, a presentation video. That is the easiest and the most difficult, depending on who you are. All you got to do is pull the slides up and record yourself doing a presentation. Why is that important? Well, it is very important because now you are establishing yourself as a leader, that you know what you're talking about. Very important. People like to join somebody who they think is going to take them to the mountaintop, not somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. All you have to do is email me and I'll email you the slides. Now, you might want to wait a couple of weeks because we are updating the current slides right now with all the new highlights and information. In fact, I don't know if you guys have done this yet, but if you've opened up the mobile app, the mobile app, it, it looks different if you have an Android. The, uh, the compare tab is there. So for all of you who said, can't, can't the Sherlock just, you know, show on just one page all the stuff? Why do I have to keep clicking on other tabs? Well, guess what? That's what we've done. Play around with it. It's real cool. So we're going to be, in fact, I mean, the company is completely not the same company it was when I joined just a little over a year ago. Completely different. Blows my mind. Always evolving. So anyway, those are the three type of videos you're going to make. You go back. I, and, and, and you know what? Sometimes you think you're going to get better. I actually got worse <laughs> after this first video. I decided to get real smart, right? I said, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna get in front of a green screen, right? And then I can have my buddy, like, maybe put a, a picture of Jamaica or Puerto Rico or something in the background there so I, I make me look real cool. <laughs> and that's what I did. And look at this. <laughs> now, I laugh when I look at this video, but I remember when I made it, I thought I was the bomb. I was like, oh, this is it. This, this video is so cool. And again, the content was on point. 
the delivery was horrible, horrible. But you've got to you've got to go through those so that now you can you can learn. And just if we fast forward here, let's see, this was Ju January 2010. So three months later, CEOs Unlimited Five Steps to Success. This is before I even started Power Team Marketing. That's why our, our uh, the CEO's unlimited website, that's where that came from. I was our team back then. But now I got a little bit better. Now, here's something else that you want to be important with. You must decide for yourself what type of image do you want to portray. If you look at certain companies out there, they all have their own cultures. You know, you look at a company like Wake Up Now. That's the most ghetto -fied company. <laughs> Not the company itself, but the culture that I don't care how great the product or compensation plan is, that's not my style. Doesn't mean that it doesn't work and it's not good. It's good for them. That's just not my style. I'm a Morehouse man. It's the school that Martin Luther King Jr. went to. So I have a certain style to me, a certain swag. And I want to portray myself always as a businessman. So most of the time, if I'm in front of a camera, I'm going to have a suit on or I'm going to look business casual. You're not going to see me too much in, you know, a baseball cap, shorts and a tank top. That's not the image I want to portray. I want to portray the fact that I represent a billion dollar brand. That's that's so that and I started that at the very beginning. So you want to decide what type of image you want to portray. Now here's the thing. If you don't want to do this type of image, that I do, professional style, you want to be more like, hey, I work from home, I put on slippers and sandals and a, and a robe when I go to work. There's a large segment of the population that appeals to that. I bring up Wake Up Now in the ghetto fight culture, but guess what? There's a whole bunch of people that love it and they're attracted to that. So you decide what you want to attract to yourself and your image. Professionalism is what I would advise for long term. You know, like I said, this is a billion dollar brand we are building here, not a Cracker Jack shop. So, and, and it, when you go through all of my videos, you know, the, the, the later they get, they start getting a lot better. And then I figured out how to make videos without having to be in front of the camera. Once I figured that out, well, the, the majority of my videos do not have me in, in front of the camera. The first ones do. See, here's, here's some videos that's still popular now. The feel, felt, found method. Feel, felt, found method. Very, very, uh, one, of, one of my secrets to success. I mastered that, that training, and I'll do a training on that, you know, in the future. Now, there's another thing to making videos. Once you make a video, the next important thing is how do you get people to actually see your video? You know, once you, yeah, it's good that you made a video, but there's what millions of videos a day that's being pulled up on uh, on YouTube. How do you, how do you get yours up there? Well, there's something that's called tags. Let's say uh, what's the last? Well, I'll do it better yet. I know what to do. I'll type in shopping show off. And why did one of my videos, my videos make it on the front page? Okay, this one's got 4,000 views and it's fourth from the top. I mean, Simon's got 13,000 there. Let me pull this video up here. This is a very good presentation I did. All right, I want to go to edit. Can I do that from here? No. Oh. I know it'll find it. Copy. All right, go back. And you'll get familiar. I mean, using YouTube's back office is not difficult. If I could figure it out, anybody could figure it out. Okay, let me go to my edit screen. This was a seven minute video I used, I did last year. Got real popular. What? I didn't use any tags? So this, wow. So this got ranked simply because of the views. 
That's interesting. Okay, go back, pick another one. Let's pick, all right, there's one, 2,000 views. Shopping show up, power of four comp plan. Power of four. I think I made this one for the Japanese team. Yeah, back February, oh, this is new, 2000, yeah, no, yeah, 2014 last year. This was right before the Japanese organization, Dino's team, exploded. And I made this video for them, and they did the power of four. All right, pull up, pull up. Okay. There's a couple of things you want uh, that, that, that you do. Because I know a lot of people on my team use my videos, I do not put any of my own contact information in the video itself. That way, you guys can download the video and re-upload it to your own uh, YouTube channel. So, but where you do put your contact information is in the info here. So I've got the title of the of the of the, of the video, and then I always notice here if you look at any of my videos, the first line in the description, I have a website, and I need to update this. I have a website. This is my the reason is because the way uh, it's spaced on anybody's computer, that's the first thing they see. You don't want to put www when you put the website there. You actually want to use ATT, HTTP so it's clickable so that they can click it. That's the first thing that people are going to see. So they see the video and the description. It may only show the first two lines. They see your link. They click it, and it goes right to you. Now, in the description, these are what's called keywords. So you want to make sure you put in the description what's going on in the video a little bit and then here is most important the tags i've got my name i use shopping sherlock michael weeder simon brooks mlm rankings network marketing e-commerce the domination market america see these are words that when people are googling or or youtubing these words my video pops up not only that if, if, if any of uh, another video that has to do with any of these words pops up, you know how, how YouTube on the right side has other videos that are similar? My video pops up there. So a lot of times somebody may look up Doobly or look up Wake Up Now or look up, I don't know, Lioness. And then on the right, there's a Shopping Sherlock video. And they're like, oh, what's that? They click on it. It's my video because I got it linked to it. And that's how you, you help to get your videos ranked. I use Michael Weider because he's the CEO of the company. I use Simon Brooks because he's the number one money earner in the company. So you can use my name if you want to use my name. It doesn't matter to me. Use my name. If you use my name, it's going to get ranked. I'm already ranked on YouTube. It's a, it's a, my name is I've, – I've got five years with this now with no issues, so it's called like a safe, safe file. So anything that's linked with my name is going to help you get even more ranked. Uh, in fact – let me pull up that other video. What is that? Uh, oh, was it focus on the goal, not the task. I know. Let me pull up Michael Smith Senior. Let me show you what happened here. It's a video that I made. Uh, break the poverty mindset. This blew me away. I still haven't figured this out, and he hasn't spilled the beans on this. So let me put this in. This is a video I made, titled "Break." Your poverty mind. That's not my title. Change that. Yeah, he changed that. Somebody else uploaded my video. Huh. I have no idea who that is. Mine is Break the Poverty. Okay, but here's my point. This is a video that I made. Michael downloaded the video and uploaded it to his youtube channel so let's say we click on there and notice he did what i teach so you see right there in the description it only shows two lines you have to click on show more to see more about it but on the show less it only shows those two lines so his website's there that you can click on he's got fifty-eight thousand views 
that's my video <laughs> my video but he changed what I don't know I see what he did here in the description but what I don't know is what he used in tags or and, and, and I don't know if it it just went viral it hit the right person and they shared it because I see that other person had it on their website but mine this was my break the power. I think that's what I titled it. I put my name in there. You kidding me? He downloaded another one of mine. Huh? Got two almost three thousand views on that one. Let's do it. I know another way. Just want to show you an example. Just because I made the video doesn't mean that my own video that uh, I upload is going to get ranked higher. Break poverty mindset. Here it is. That's why I taught it. Brandon Ivy training. Break the poverty mindset. That was the original, and it's got. 12,000 views, okay? Now you see how I've got there? Uh, you can click on, there's my link, it's easy to get to. So you can download it, and like Michael did, and, and he uploaded it, and uh, he got 57,000 views <laughs> on my video. Here's some other, and now notice what I said, there's videos on the side that pop up. There's another video I did, how to become a master recruiter. Shopping Sherlock customer acquisition training. That's a newer one. That's from December. The science of getting rich. The rare life mindset training. Focus on the goal and not the task. Almost 10,000 views on that one. So, anyways, that's my point. Is how to use your tags and, and and to upload the videos. Now, here's the next question. How do I make a video? Let's check to make sure everybody's still with me. So if you guys can still hear me, type Y in the chat box. All right, fantastic. All right, there's a couple of programs that I use. I don't use, uh, well now I, I, I had a friend of mine who uh, showed me a couple of programs that, that I paid for. Uh, I think that's you, Nelly. It's the same Nelly that I think. And I used that a couple of times, but when I first got started, uh, I didn't, I didn't have money. I didn't have a budget. Uh, so people think that you have to have money to be able to market. Everything that I do mostly, I, I use free stuff, free material. So one program is this one. It is called Windows Live Movie Maker. It is free. It's showing you some of the tools that you need to make a video. Windows Live Movie Maker. That is free. Another one that you need is you need a program that's going to teach you how to record. Well, it's going to, it's going to record your screen and your audio. There's a, this one here that's called Debut. Oh, I'm sorry, free. Oh, no, not, not that one. Not to make video download. What's my debut? So, so update later. All right, debut. Here it is. Debut video capture. All you have to do is is Google it, and you can download it for free. That will allow you to uh, record your screen and everything that you're saying through your microphone. There's a free version and there's a paid version. For the longest time, I used the free version. But the only problem for me, it only does maybe, you know, one quarter of the screen, not the full screen, the way I like it, not big enough. So I, I use an, uh, this. It's called Open Broadcaster, but it's not simple to use. It took me a long time trial and, and error to figure it out, and I did so by just YouTubing it and watching videos. Anything that you want to learn anything that you want to learn you don't need somebody to hold your hand just youtube it and watch the video where you can pause rewind just make make the time to do so that's something that i should do with blogging and using uh wordpress 
I, and I have a friend that tells me all the time I need to figure this stuff out. But I'm, I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> you know, I if it's a challenge, and uh, if I don't need it, I don't I don't put the effort into it that much. But here it's a free for de debut video screen capture, and my movie or Windows Live Movie Maker. Now let me give you an example. Windows Live Movie Maker. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Kuzo is everybody. You know, you know how you guys, if you get promoted to star affiliates, I will make you your very own video. Well, here's a video that I'll still uh, that I've already made for Kuzo. The problem is that I had to um, reset my computer, reboot it. So the, the same files where some of my programs were are no longer there. So I have to rebuild this video from scrap. And I've just been so bogged down and busy uh, to get it done. I'm going to get this done tomorrow. I've got to, I've got three videos I've got to do. But let's see, is there a, one of the latest ones I've done that hasn't? Oh, yeah, I just made one for my dad. My dad's running for, um, for Laverne City Council, the city that I live in. So. This software allows me to upload pictures and images, and people think, how do you make those cool videos? It's simple. All I do is upload the video. The program does the rest. I or upload the images that I want. I can upload the music that I want. And then I just, and then it just plays. Very basic. Another day, when I have more time, we will make a video together. In fact, we'll make a new uh, Power Team Marketing uh, 2015 of all the members. So I'm going to send out an email saying, if you want to be in the new Power Team Marketing video, shoot me an email of a picture that you want. And then on the next training we do, we're all going to make a video. And I'm going to let you guys choose the music. And we're going to make a video. We're going to upload it to YouTube. And, uh, and then it's going to get going from there. So keep that in mind. I don't have time right now to really go into step by step by step. I'm just showing you the programs that I use. There's another program that I used early on that was called, oh, 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 oh so the tip of my tongue, Camtasia. Camtasia is another one, but you got to pay for it. I had a free version early on. Camtasia is another one that you can use. But this is, I'm a simple guy. You know, this, a lot of that stuff was too complicated. All I want to do is be able to copy, paste a picture, throw music on. And then get ready to go. Uh, one thing that I have been good at doing was doing uh, what you call intro videos. So people say, Brandon, where do you get those intro videos from? I uh, one I use. What is that called? Oh, I just had it at the tip of my tongue. Oh, intro channel. Introchamp.com. This is for paid versions. So here's where I got a lot of a lot of good ones. Like the Power Team Marketing intro. Let me see if I bring up uh, good stuff there. All right, intros. All right, I've got. Like this power team marketing intro. Oh, I made that one myself. That was easy. I, all I did was took a picture of the image and messed around with it on the. Let's see. Oh, this this one. Oh yeah, that one I did not make. I got that from well, what's that paid website? Ooh, that you can outsource it. Oh, I'm really slipping tonight. My mind's not here tonight. Anyways, that was an outsource. See the Brandon Ivy show. This one was outsource. I've got uh let me do this Vitel clip one. Uh, that was the company's. But I've got files and files of intros. 
with different music behind it that I spent time making for whenever whatever mood I'm in. I got like this one here from Art of Noise. And again, this was outsourced. I'm not good enough to make them that good by myself, but there are programs where uh, you can. So you can do a, a little intro for yourself. And let's see, any, anything else that I do there? No. Let's say I want to record a presentation. This is all I do. I actually pull up a presentation. Let's pull this up. Then I open up the debut, uh, uh, video debut. And I'm not going to do that because I have so many programs running at the same time while I'm doing this presentation. I don't want it to throw me out. But here's the uh, slides, right? Then I would have my debut video capture screen. Hit the record button on slideshow, click from the beginning. And then I will start talking and go from slide to slide to slide to slide. And then end it at the end. That's how I do it. In fact, I'll be doing uh, another one soon with the, the new slides. Oh, I think I just froze myself on nice. Can you guys still hear me? Type Y. All right, I have my computer hooked up to my big screen, and my big screen just went out on me here. Let me get it back. Duplicate. There we go. Okay. So anybody have any questions so far that you might need me to highlight before I, I kind of run this down and, and close this out? Anybody have any questions? Because this was recorded, so you can always go back. Here's, a, here's another thing that I would advise you all to do, even if you haven't made any videos just yet. You want to go to all of the uh, promo videos and stuff that we have. You want to upload all of those videos to your own YouTube channel. I have a file. Give me an example. So if I come to my YouTube, video manager. So you want to upload all, all um, videos from Sherlock to your channel. All the videos that you can, even if you didn't make the videos. You want people coming to you. All the time. Let me pull up another file I have. What's up on me? There we go. Webinar videos. I've got just a a file of a list of my videos. So I don't have to always go back to YouTube and I just pull them up. So, so I would encourage you guys to do so, but you can, any videos that you can see, you can download it. That's the next question. Someone asked me, how, you know, how do I download a YouTube video? All right, there's a couple of software you can use to do so. One is Real Player. If you don't have it on your computer, you can download it, realplayer.com. And what happens, no. Over there. Let me show you what happens. See this little tab up here? That's my real player tab. So anytime a video plays on my computer, all I have to do is click on that tab and it will download that video to my hard drive. And then I turn around, let's say I want to upload the video. Uh, on YouTube, I just click upload. And then I have to select file to upload. It's going to go to your computer and you find the file and you just upload it wherever you have the video saved. Uh, another way to download, if you don't want to use Real Player, is I use 
this one right here it's called free make not free maker but free make f r e e m a k e video downloader all you have to do is copy the the url and paste it and it will automatically download it to your computer that's what i do all the time and then i can edit it add whatever i want and then i re-upload it to to youtube so you can start off by doing that start off by making sure your channel has sherlock videos all over the place that lets people know that you are you're serious about your business you've got more information about your business you don't want somebody or your prospect having to be somewhere else to get the information you want to have all the information readily available in one location so here's a hint you say, well, where would I go to get all these videos? Well, we've got PowerTeamSherlock.com. There's a good place to start. I need to change that December to remember. But look here, Shopping Sherlock Download Videos. Download all these videos and then re-upload it to your YouTube channel. See, there's the... the uh, Real players going crazy because it knows it can download all these videos. These are all generic videos. Upload them to your YouTube channel, and then you can use these. Let's say you you're, you want to post something on Facebook. Now I'll give you an example. Let me you know, uh, let's do a Facebook post. Okay, copy. Pull up Facebook. Uh, all right. Going. Going live. Training on the importance. Video marketing. Uh, don't use that. I'll use that one. No, the culture of shopping Sherlock. Yeah. Our Sherlock family. Okay, I'm gonna pull up uh, the culture of shopping Sherlock video. Just copy. I'm going to show you guys a trick as well. Copy and paste. Now, once you do that, you see the video pops up right here. Before you click post, delete the URL. Even if you delete it, the video will still be there. Why did I do that? Facebook is slick. You may have 5,000 friends, but anytime you post, maybe only 15 people are seeing your post. Why? It's their analytics. Sometimes they block keywords because they don't want people spamming all the time. So if you're always talking about shopping Sherlock or something else, it's going to red flag and it's going to limit the amount of people that's actually seeing anything that you post. So anytime you put a website in there, and redirect somebody somewhere else they're going to flag it one way to do that is if you actually upload the video straight to facebook they're okay with that they're not going to flag it you see it on your page but your friends aren't going to see it at all so by deleting the uh oh well wow, my buddy uh victor leslie i went to high school with him oh i was supposed to be there at this game oops uh ah, well i got to train with you guys tonight Oh, man, I'm an alumni of my high school. Anyways, um, now that I've got that there, I click post, and there's the video. Now, I, I got to do a whole other separate Facebook uh, training as well, uh, you, how you drip on Facebook. I don't use Facebook to build my business like I used to in the past. I only use Facebook to keep up with my team. And to keep people who know me, uh, you know, let, let them know that I'm still doing what I'm doing. I don't use it for the for for recruiting or trying to find new people anymore. There's a whole other reasons for that for another training. 
but this is how you get stuff out there. And if you want to know more about Facebook as well, just copy the people on our team, whatever they post. There's our private Facebook group. Just copy and paste. I do that all the time. In fact, today with Chuck Williams. Where is it? Let's see. This one right here. Please join me in congratulating Anil Kumar Gone uh, by hitting Power Affiliate two days ago. Okay. Chuck Williams posted that. I just copied and pasted it. So there's no shame <laughs> in doing that. Just follow the people. You, know, you, you, all, you also want to be familiar with our the, the, the company's uh, page. Uh, this isn't it. Is this it? Yeah. See, here's what I like to do all the time. Congratulations to the newest power affiliate in Kazakhstan. Copy. I like the pay, like it. And then I'm going to share it on my own page. Why do I do that? Even though this person is not on my team. Because I want people to see that momentum is taking place in our company. Around the world. We are one big family, whether you're in my downline or not. And we celebrate everybody's success that's the whole point so let's let me go out of here and before i close that if there's any questions camera good versus bad all right let's talk about cameras uh when i first got started i had a handheld camera that i actually bought and that was okay then i used my on my on my computer you know the the computer cam i use that then now all the videos that i use now i use my galaxy s5 or i use uh where is it one second here. yeah this is a jvc uh handheld cam that i got from best buy i think it cost me a couple hundred bucks and it's got a tripod, and I can take it with me wherever I go. Those of you that were at the Vegas event, you know, that's the camera that I had. So I use that. So you don't need to go out there spending a whole bunch of money on a camera. And, again, most of the videos I make is on my computer anyway. I'm not even in front of it. So Nelly says you could also share it directly from YouTube with the message. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Share it directly from YouTube. Nelly knows far more about this stuff than I do. And by far, I am not an expert. I am not an expert. There's a lot of people that do far more than I do when it comes to video marketing and, and Facebook and social media. Uh, I just have been able to master what I do. You know, you don't need to be good at everything. Just master a few things. And, and I've been able to do that. Now I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and, and add a couple of things. Like I've got a couple of signups from LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn works very, very good. You have to be consistent uh, with what you're doing with LinkedIn. In fact, let's see, where's my, this one? I haven't touched LinkedIn this year at, at all. I keep a spreadsheet on notes on all the LinkedIn connections and what the follow-up is and what happened with them. So, and it, and it works. I mean, the people that, that Simon, the person that just hit power that I showed you from the UK, they got him from LinkedIn. <laughs> Go figure. All right. Any other questions? Do I have my flip camera? Yeah, whatever cameras work that you can, you can plug into your computer and download. I think that's it. I think we've got enough good inf information for you guys tonight. I don't want to to really blow you away i did i have made you know what let me find this other video for you i have done a recording before let me find it how to make a video i think this was the last training i did on something similar let's see how to make, I'm gonna make it better. How to make an effective video. 
This was one of my tips. This was back in 2012. So I'll give you guys this link. So you can watch this as well. And I did a real good one maybe a year and a half ago that I did not record because I didn't want it out there on the uh, interwebs. But the people who were there, you know, my team, they, 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 they really ran with it. And then again, you can always use YouTube. You just type it in, how to make effective video. It's YouTube, and you've got a whole bunch of stuff here that you can, you can learn. How to speak effectively over the phone. <laughs> All right, any last questions? If not, I think we are good to go. Let me stop sharing and, and bring it back. Stop sharing. All right, so I hope you guys were able to learn uh, from this and you'll put it into practice. Here's a couple of things. I'll give you a homework assignment. And yes, I did record this. Here's your homework assignment. Number one, make a video about who are you. Who is Karen Parsons? The world needs to know. So if you want to have somebody hold up a, a, a cell phone camera and just record you for five minutes telling everybody who you are, fantastic. Who are you? Upload it. The second video you're going to make. Why did you join? And I know we've got people on here that's not even in my company. Why did you join your company? Why did you join your company? And don't don't do the the you know the PowerPoint presentation and and the talking points. Why did you join? You know what's your why? Why are you here? And then the third video is if you doing a presentation. I actually, I, uh, two years ago, I, we had a of a thousand people. I did the same. What I'm telling you right now, on stage, in front of a thousand people, is exactly what I told them. Do these three things. You want to start to brand yourself? Those are the first three steps you take. Who are you? Why are you here? And show me the plan. That's the basic. Those three steps. Upload them. The point is, you want to own your name on the internet. When somebody Googles you, you want your name to pull up. When somebody YouTubes you, you want your name to pull up. Don't worry that you're not on the front page. Like I said, you're going to have somebody that they're not going to be turned on to Simon Brooks or myself or Chuck Williams. They want to hear from John's story. They can relate to him. They want to hear Karen's story, Rhonda's story. And everybody's story is different and unique. It's a big world out there, millions of people. No one person is going to get it all. So don't worry about, oh, I'm not on the front page. At least you got your video out there. And the more videos you make, the more you will be ranked. The more, it's all about analytics. The more YouTube recognizes that you are a legitimate poster, then all of a sudden, you know, I, I've got a video that was on the front page that I just made two months ago. How'd that happen? We were making hundreds of videos since then. So that's the start. Everything else is trial and error. I can point you in the right direction, but some of you are going to learn things that I don't. I haven't even figured out. There's people. I remember two years ago I did a training like this with somebody on my team, and then within a year, that that guy took off. That guy was. All, I mean, he was making videos far better than anything that I can make. He branded himself far better than I did. And he just did more. He learned more than I did. And I was willing to learn at the time. So it's trial and error. You will mess up. It's okay. There's another assignment that I want you all to do as well. Start making testimonial videos about how you have saved money on the shark. Every time you save money, you could buy one print cartridge. Make a video about it because now you're going to you're going to establish yourself a, uh, a, a, a reputation and a what's the word, a, a, a trail of success, a trail of stories. Wow. Last week, Karen saved two hundred dollars on a purse. 
two months ago, she saved $400 on a laptop. Last week, she saved 80 bucks on a So you want to have a, you know, a, uh, why can't I think of the word? Uh, uh, rep, not a reputation, but anyway, it's just a, a list of you doing these things over and over and over again. And at a consistently, not you just made one video and threw it out there just to see what's going to happen. You're consistently using the product. Just like Jennifer walked into the store and, and scanned the boots. Make a video of you doing that. Make a video of you showing off the app. Make videos, 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 videos of you using the product. And you will get people to contact you about it, to be a customer or to learn how to make money. 2015 is the marketing year for Shopping Sherlock. We are going to flood the internet with stuff. And I'm going to give you guys a warning now. I have not really began my video marketing for this company yet. What? Uh, all those videos? I haven't. I have not really done it yet at the way I, that I know I can. And I am. It's, I'm probably going to start after the cruise when we come back from uh, uh, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. Then I'm going to really ramp up my video marketing. And I'm going to flood the Internet. And you guys want to do the same. So with that, thank you guys for joining us. As always, I'm going to end with uh, probably one of the best videos I've ever made. And again, here's another example of being able to make a video without actually being in the video. I don't even say anything in this video. <laughs> but it's got thousands of views on this video. And it's called Focus on the Goal. Oh, wait a minute. I am talking in this video. This is that one. Focus on the goal and not the task. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. My name is Brandon Ivey, soon to be Diamond Boy Shopping Sherlock. Let's end this month out strong. We have one week left. If you're not a star affiliate, you want to be a star affiliate. If you're a star affiliate and you're trying to get power, go power before this month is out. The power of two, that's all it takes is two. Not three, not five, not ten, just two. Two to eight thousand dollars a month by March, just by duplicating two. Simple. I didn't say it was easy, but it is simple. Here's the video. God bless and good night. We'll see. Oh, 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 tomorrow, very important webinar with Chuck Williams. We're gonna be talking about the best in social. You guys, ah oh, man, I gotta tell you. <laughs> if you you don't fully understand this yet, it's okay, but don't let this pass you by. And some of the updates, uh, you know, the mobile app looks different. Uh, so you're going to hear some new things that Chuck's going to be talking about. So tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, and of course we have our team call at 8 p.m. Eastern. So you want to be on that. So here's a video. Enjoy the rest of your evening. God bless. Good night. Bye-bye.